In John's letter to the early Christians, he mentions the fact that you have overcome the evil one. He's instructing them and recognizing how Christ is in their lives. For Christ is the Savior of our souls, and he operates in them now. He operates in our lives in a present and saving way, always seeking to draw us deeper into his saving sacrifice on the cross for me and for you. The lesson for us in John's letter is to help us to remember that we can draw strength from Christ beyond our own strength which is necessary for salvation. We do not have the power to save ourselves, to fly up to heaven, or to leave sin by our own power. This is a very humbling truth. What the Christian recognizes as he clings to Christ, the saving remedies in the sacraments. Further, in our defense against temptation, it's important that we simply remember who we are, we are in a relationship with God through Christ who draws us by this persuasion of love to not sin. And if we do, he does not take back his love, but hangs on the cross for us. In this way, throughout our lives, we are always being drawn deeper into this mystery of our salvation, how much we are loved as a child of God and what was done for us on the cross this is what usually brings tears to the Christian's eyes and repentance. It's not crying over our own foolish, sinful selves alone, but recognizing your sins coming face to face with this divine love for your soul. The one you crucified by sin still loves you and further desires to wash you clean and strengthen you to save you from the fires of Gehenna. The more we live out our Christian lives, the more we realize and see all of our sins and even our unworthiness to be in God's presence. But this divine love draws us and forgives us and tells us that we are his and not Satan's. For we are bought by Christ's blood from the kingdom of darkness and we are drawn into the light of Christ. This is no imaginary thing with the reality of our lives being drawn out of sin into the holiness of God's presence and his love for us. This is the beauty of grace-filled tears that recognizing the saving love of God that forgave our sins, drew us out of them, and into a loving union that gives us strength each day of our lives to live better, to remain with Jesus, the divine lover of our souls.